Cavs tough battle with a tough Iranian. You came out ahead. Talk about it. Uh, a little frustrated. I think I can. I mean, I know I can. Can can put more points on the board than that. You're wrestling a guy, and it's. I mean, here's the thing: it's the Iranians, and they. It's a, it's a block, block, block. The guy's losing. I'm wondering why the hell is this guy blocking? You know, so I get weighted in to just kind of hanging out. And time's clicking off. And he doesn't even have a sniff. I mean, I, I, the way that I feel is he doesn't have a chance. So, good. I won. But I got to be able to get to their legs. And he's just, I mean, he's a smaller guy. So, hey, what? The, the high crotch I hit was a pretty darn good one. Looked like he scored on the edge, too. That gave me a push on it. It was a close one. That was at the end of the first period. You gave yeah, you I probably gave you another point. point. I probably, oh, yeah, that was a two. Yeah, yeah. That was a takedown for sure. I mean, his knee went down. Um, so, 4 1 if you want to do it right. But, um, you know. Did, did, it, did you manage the match maybe because uh, it's a dual format? Um, or did that come You manage it because of momentum. You manage it because you're in a battle with a guy who's pretty darn capable. He's done a whole lot of great things. And, I mean, I don't know. I don't really like the word manage. I mean, here's the thing, you go out to score early, push the pace really good early, and then, like I said, it felt like it got slowed down. And it wasn't my head slowing down. I mean, you dominated the center, though. But, uh, you know, got to get by his collar tie. Like Terry Brand said, you can't, I'm inside, he's not inside. He was inside here, that slows me down. Snap, clear, get my left hand. Were you aware of the drama of the first two matches? I know we had Ramos. I didn't see the drama, I heard the drama a little bit. I don't know what happened. But here's the thing, my, my guy goes down, then our guy goes down, and you want to turn it, you want to swing it. So I did that, I could have done it in a better way. I think you add one or two more on there, and you start to hush that crowd up, which is not a home crowd. And you said it wouldn't be. No, and that's all right, here's the thing, they're out in full, full force, and I think us Americans, here's the thing, they're Americans, but um, can learn a lesson for their passion, you know? It's pretty amazing. I told a guy before this, I was sitting watching Ramos, and I said, multiply this by 15,000. And that's what it was in Tehran. 15,000 times this. So what do you take for? Uh, you take four that you did some really good things, and that you have some <coughs> areas that you need to be able to build on. And here's the thing, I mean, you're going to hear the same thing from me because I'm thinking about getting to the, the ultimate platform, and, you know, I've got to score the most takedowns. I'm talking about two, three, four, five, turn on top sort of thing, when you really want to be the best in the world. You know, who's our example? Jordan Burroughs. You know, there's not too many one one takedown matches he has, and if so, that guy's very, very passive. So, I'm trying to get there, so if I'm gonna, I mean, I gotta criticize myself and, and make myself feel, but here, good. You beat your radiance, big deal. Anyone else? Um, how valuable is just the experience of facing guys that you haven't faced before at the top level? I mean, you talked about both in Mongolia and this match, they did stuff that you weren't expecting. He was blocking and he was behind. Um, here's the thing, his experience is funny because I'm 28, 9 now, so the experience, I don't chalk it up to experience anymore. I've got the experience, i got to go out and lay the hammer down. And it's good to get your hands on these guys. Maybe see what they're about, but at the end of the day, it's what you're about, and it's you forcing what you're about on your point.